Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about the main difference between AC motor and DC motor. So let's start the video. Although both AC and DC electric motors convert electrical energy into mechanical energy, however, their construction and operation and way of functioning is different. DC motors are powered from direct current source such as batteries in order to convert DC electric energy into mechanical energy. On the other hand, AC motors function on AC supply in order to convert AC electrical energy into mechanical energy. So this is the basic difference between AC and DC motor. That DC motors are powered from di direct current source whereas AC motor functions on AC supply. Now let's discuss the other various differences of AC and DC motor in detail. First of all, we will talk about the constructional difference. The main difference between AC and DC motors is that DC motors are constructed with brushes and commutator. Here you can see this is the cross-sectional view of DC motor and these are the commutator segments and brushes which are used in the DC motor. The two main parts of DC motor are armature and stator. Stator produces a constant magnetic field which is generated by permanent magnets or electromagnets. As you can see, these are the two magnets which produces a constant magnetic field. Armature is placed between the constant magnetic field. Coordinates of the armature is connected to the DC power source through a pair of commutator segments. Here you can see, this is the armature coil which is placed between the constant magnetic field and it is connected to the DC power source through a pair of commutator segments. Now let's come to the construction of AC motor. AC motor has a stator and rotor as its main parts. Stator has a coins that are supplied with an alternating current in order to produce a rotating magnetic field. Here you can see in the diagram the AC supply. AC supply is given to the stator in order to produce a rotating magnetic field. Whereas rotor is present inside the stator and it is attached to the output shaft of AC motor. Moreover, input in the case of an AC motor is always fed to the stator and there is no need of carbon brushes and commutators. So in the case of an AC motor, carbon brushes and commutators are not required and the AC and the input is always fed to the stator. So this is overall constructional view of AC and DC motor. Before going to the operational difference of AC and DC motor, it is important to know that both AC and DC motors have a two types of winding which are termed as field winding and armature winding. Field winding produces a main magnetic field in the machine whereas output voltage is induced in the armature winding of machine. So there are two types of windings in any machine, field winding and the armature winding. Field winding produces a main magnetic field whereas output voltage is induced in the armature of machine. Now in the case of a DC motor, armature rotates while the magnetic field is stationary. On the other hand, if we talk about the AC motor, the armature of AC motor doesn't rotate when its magnetic field continuously rotates. Now we will overview the operational difference. In a case of DC motor, as we study earlier, that the armature rotates and it is placed between the constant magnetic field which are physically stationary. So as you can see, this is the armature coil and it is and it rotates between the constant magnetic field. Due to the interaction of both armature and stator magnetic fields, 
आर्मेचर कंडक्टर एक्सपीरियंस इज अ मैकेनिकल फोर्स ड्यू टू विच आर्मेचर स्टार्ट टू रोटेट सो बाय द इंटरेक्शन ऑफ आर्मेचर एंड स्टेटर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड्स द आर्मेचर कंडक्टर एक्चुअली द इन दिस सनेरियो आर्मेचर कॉल एक्सपीरियंस इज अ मैकेनिकल फोर्स एंड इट स्टार्ट टू रोटेट सो दिस इज हाउ द इलेक्ट्रिकल इनर्जी हैज बीन कन्वर्टेड इन टू मैकेनिकल इनर्जी एंड डी सी मोटर वर्क इन दिस वे नाउ वी विन डिस्कस द ऑपरेशन एंड डिफरेंस ऑफ ऑपरेशन ऑफ ए सी मोटर ए सी मोटर ऑन द अदर हैंड कंटिन्यूसली प्रोड्यूस अ रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वाइन द आर्मेचर ऑफ ए सी मोटर इज ऑलवेज स्टेशनरी सो एव यू कैन सी the the rotating magnetic field is produced by the stator and it continuously rotates while the armature which is basically the armature rotor conductors in the case of a ac motor is always stationary now revolving magnetic field travel through the air gap between the rotor and the stator so now this is the rotating magnetic field and it rotates between the air gap between the stator and rotor and as we know that whenever the relative motion between the rotating magnetic field and the rotor conductors occur emf is induced in the rotor conductors according to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so this is how the dc motor works that by the relative motion between the rotating magnetic field of stator and the stationary rotor conductors emf is induced in the rotor conductors which is basically the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction moreover it is not always necessary to supply the power to both rotor and stator in the case of ac motors the example is of induction motors so in the case of a ac motor it is not necessary to supply the power to both stator and rotor one more basic difference between ac and dc motor is the speed control in the case of dc motor it is easy to control the speed over a wide range the speed of dc motor is controlled by varying the supply voltage dc motors also provides a constant torque so in the case of a dc motor it is easy to control the speed over a wide range on the other hand although the use of variable speed drive make it possible to get the speed control of ac motors however it makes the motor more noisy besides this ac motors also gets heated with a variable speed drive it is difficult in ac motors to get the control over a wide range of speeds moreover ac motors also tend to have a no torque at a higher speeds so from the above discussion we can say that if we want to control the speed of a motor then in that case dc motor is preferable since the speed of a dc motor is controlled by varying the supply voltage on the other hand ac motors are generally preferable in a constant speed applications moving on the next point which we are going to discuss is the phase difference ac motors can be single phase or a three phase depending on the requirement while all dc motors on on the other hand are single phase so the dc motors are on wave single phase whereas ac motors can be of a single phase or a three phase depending on your requirement the next point is the changing of nodes ac motors can be used when the node on the motor varies on the other hand dc motors are not ideal to use during the continuous changing of a node so in a case of a constant nod dc motors are preferable whereas ac motors can be used when the node on the motor varies 
आउटपुट पावर ए सी मोटर प्रोड्यूस ए लार्ज मकैनिकल पावर एज कंपेयर टू डी सी मोटर विद अ हायर एफिशंसी सो वी कैन से दैट ए सी मोटर प्रोड्यूस ए लार्ज आउटपुट पावर एज कंपेयर टू दी डी सी मोटर एंड विद अ हायर एफिशंसी द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज द कम्यूटेटर एंड ब्रशिस alternating current produced in the armature of a dc motor needs to be converted and for that purpose dc motors are constructed with brushes and commutator so as we have discussed earlier that the main construction and difference between ac and dc motor is the presence of brushes and commutator and they are used to convert the alternating current into unidirectional current the presence of a commutator and brushes brush assembly makes the current to rotate in one direction however this arrangement makes the motor makes the dc motor bulky and heavy moreover regular maintenance is also required in this type of arrangement which makes them expensive life time of dc motor also becomes less due to commutation so the presence of a commutator commutator and brushes makes a dc motor a neaten bit expensive and the life time of dc motor also becomes less now if we ta- talk about the ac motors ac motors doesn't require inversion and curve and conversion due to which commutation is not required in these type of motors this sector makes them less expensive they also requires a less maintenance life time of ac motors are more than that of dc motors so due to the absence of commutator and brushes ac motor becomes less expensive and the life time of ac motors are also more than that of dc motors the next point which we are going to discuss is the efficiency AC motors works on the phenomenon phenomenon of snip where rotating magnetic field of stator and rotor magnetic field interact to generate a torque due to which heat related power losses occur so in the case of a AC motor when the rotating magnetic field of stator and the magnetic and the rotor conductor interact to generate a torque then the power losses occurs ac motors also generally use electromagnets which results in a power losses in the case of a dc motor magnetic field is generated by permanent magnets moreover only resistive losses take place in these type of motors hence we can say that dc motors have more efficiency as compared to the ac motors with respect to the power losses so since the power losses in the case of a dc motors are less as compared to the ac motors so the efficiency of dc motor is high however it is to be noted that efficiency is not the only criteria to choose between ac and dc motor there are many reasons and other criteria when we have to choose between ac and dc motor The next point is the torque. DC motor produces a more torque as compared to AC motor. The starting torque of a DC motor is almost three times than that of a AC motor. So, as we have discussed earlier, that there are many criteria and reasons for choosing the AC motor or a DC motor. So, if we want, if we want a high starting torque, then in that case. dc motor is preferable size difference ac motors are usually bigger in size as compared to the dc motors so the size of a ac motors are usually bigger as compared to dc motors motor types the two main types of ac motors are induction motor and synchronous motor while dc motor includes a brush dc motor and brushless dc motors so there are two types of ac motors 
and by DC motor includes brush DC motor and brushless DC motor. So overall, we can say that both AC and DC motors have a different advantages which makes them suitable in different applications. If you require a high torque or need to control the speed of a motor over a wide range, it is best to go for a DC motors in that case. Whereas AC motors are mostly used when the constant speed is required and it also offers a large output power. So these are the specifications of AC and DC motors. Overall, it depends on the characteristic of your applications that which motor, AC or a DC, is more suitable for your job. This is the comparison of a AC and DC motor in the tabular form. These are all the points which we have discussed earlier in the video. So you can read and easily understand that. That's all. Hope this video will help you. Moreover, if you want to read the article of a AC and DC motor in detail, I will provide you the link in the description. Thanks a lot. If you like the video, please subscribe. Thanks.